Since 1974, owners and users of HCR air doors around the world have experienced the benefits of HCR's revolutionary air door technology, from small commercial coolers to large industrial freezers. Now, the Jamison Door Company and HCR have completed definitive third-party tests of air door performance at Creative Thermal Solutions. I'm Stefan Elbow. I'm the chief engineer here at Creative Thermal Solutions in Urbana, Illinois, and I oversee the research that is going on in our company. CTS is a privately owned, very unique research and consulting business. We serve the HVAC and refrigeration industries, but also industries that have uh, other very specialized heating and cooling needs. CTS distinguishes itself from its competitors by being a young and very dynamic, unconventional research company and our customers very often refer to us as the thermodynamic think tank. We are well positioned to carry out independent research. We provide product development, we do consulting, we do prototyping and fabrication. Many of our projects focus on environmental sustainability. In many of our projects we are interested in increasing energy efficiency, basically reduce energy consumption. CTS is very proud to have a very diverse customer base that includes domestic and international uh, industry partners but also government agencies and originally CTS was really heavily focused on automotive heating and cooling needs including domestic and uh, European but also Asian customers. As we expanded our operations we are able to now serve different markets as well. We are very proud to have now also a large number of industrial and commercial refrigeration projects such as Jameson HCR. I'm Andy Muster. I'm a senior research engineer here at CTS and I'm also the project leader for the Jamison HCR air curtain project. We're currently sitting in the test chamber where we're studying the effectiveness of the air curtain. Uh, as you can see behind me is some of the instrumentation we're using for the project. Uh, this is an example of the infrared thermography that we're using as one tool to show the effectiveness of the door. We're now outside of the test chamber, directly across the wall from some of the instrumentation that we were just looking at. We're at the control and data logging station. This is where we control the temperature and humidity inside of the chamber, as well as measure thermocouples, uh, power, and any other measurements that we take and we record here. The test chamber is divided into a warm room and a cold room. The warm room ambient is maintained with electric heaters and a steam generator. The cold room ambient is controlled with a large cooling coil and an air handling section. In the air handling section, we measure the air flow rate and also we add baffles to dampen the airflow such that the facility does not have any effect on the efficiency measured in the air curtain. All of the data that you see here on the screen is continuously output to Excel. What we see here is a temperature profile showing the hot and the cold sides of the room with the door running. And this can be recorded both as still images or as time-lapse video. This video shows the chamber cross-section temperature profile. The cold side is on the right, the hot side is on the left with the air turned off. You can see the blue cold temperatures where the, the cold air is going through the bottom of the opening and the, the red hot temperatures where the hot air is going through the top of the door which is located directly in the middle and about halfway up. Now when the air curtain is activated very quickly the temperature gradients turn vertical. You can see clearly that there's very little heat going through the door. The cold side establishes a very even temperature profile. The cold air, the blue, is held on that side. On the hot side you can see that the temperatures raise very quickly. The color gradients increase from light red to dark red and the hot air is held on the warm side and in this case the energy input on the hot side remains constant so very quickly the hot side temperature raises because of the drastic shutoff of the heat transfer through the opening when the door is running. The goal of the test is to measure the energy savings by running the air curtain and we express this in an efficiency of the air curtain which is greater than 70 percent. While these original laboratory observations of 70 percent efficiency are impressive, we also tested with higher ratios of opening sizes to ceiling heights that are more commonly found in industry. With the positive results of this further testing, we can predict that an efficiency of over 80 percent is likely attainable in more typical real-world industry applications 
due to their larger door height to ceiling height ratios. This corresponds to 80% less air infiltration going through the opening, which again relates to 80% less humidity going through the opening, and all of these are beneficial. With less humidity going into the cold room, you can reduce fogging, you can reduce icing, all of this increases safety, and you can reduce defrosting requirements on the coil as well. In general, air curtain technology is a great way to improve energy consumption in a facility. Refrigeration is a mature technology and incremental improvements are difficult to obtain, whereas adding an air curtain to a facility increases the overall energy savings in the facility and can also reduce the refrigeration capacity required. For me personally, seeing is believing and I think we were all impressed when we first turned the air curtain on and saw, especially in the temperature profile, the immediate impact that it has in, in really separating the hot side from the cold side and then also, of course, the energy savings that we gained. And that's what efficiency is all about. For more information and technical details about HCR's air door performance testing or how you can benefit from 80% energy efficiency in your facility, contact the Jamison Door Company or your HCR representative. HCR Air Doors, removing all obstacles.